Hey guys, Cypher Tech here. Welcome back to another exciting game review video. And today we are going to take a look at Saints Row 5. Now, this is my overall thoughts on the game, how I feel about the game after playing the game. Now, FYI, for those who are yet to play Saints Row 5 and are yet to purchase this game, I will try my best not to spoil it for y'all. And those who are currently playing Saints Row, well, I won't spoil it for y'all either if you are still in process of completing the game. So where do I start? Central 5 is an open world action comedy uh, game taking place in a city called Santo Eleso, a fictional representation of cities like Reno, I think um, Las Vegas, and I think somewhere in Texas, I don't know. The download size for Saint Row 5 on the PS5 is around 53 gigabytes. Uh, in my book for next gen console, that's all right. It's not bad at all, uh, considering um, the fact that the PlayStation 5 uh, in my book got trash storage. I mean, that one TB space, technically only 600 GB usable, is not enough to download uh, or to have every game uh, on your console at the same time so you might have to swap games for other games or do what I did get a 4 TB expansion uh, SSD so just to be brief with the pilot and not to spoil it for anyone well you pretty much build your character you build your crew called the Saints you start a criminal empire and you set forth to conquer the city of Santo Aleso going against every crew that stands in your motherfucking way and um, that's pretty much the whole gist of the game. If you are familiar with the Saintro franchise, um, the Saintro 5 kind of give me the same vibes uh, with Saintro 2 and 3, kind of. It's not all the way uh, comedy jokes. I mean, it's comedy, but it's not like it's not serious in some aspects. So unlike Saintro 4, um, that is just a joke all around. Um, Saintro 5 is a little bit, you know, there's a little bit of a story behind it and it's really, really engaging. So you battle with various crews um, like the Los Panteros, uh, the old school brawlers, uh, a group of techno punk or cyberpunk uh, fucking anarchists. Uh, they call themselves the Idols. And lastly, you'll be going toe to toe with a private military company called Martial Defense Industries. So take note of that. The city as a whole the santo aleso city as a whole uh is divided into two factions so you have the city side and then you have the country type uh areas and then you have the city area as well and at first when i first started playing it i actually thought it was kind of fictional uh you know los angeles but um over time you get to see that texas uh and that las vegas nevada you know vibe Let's talk about the game in terms of uh, the character customization. Now, in Saint Row Five, the cast, the character customization is is a little bit deep, um, a little bit like Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. You know, uh, customized physical features, eyes, chest, muscle, genital, paws. Uh, you know, your build, your height. You can do all that cool stuff. Uh, you can also customize your crew outfits. You can customize your rides. Have neon lights. Have you know. I've, recently put a off-road tires on a sports car like you can do stuff like that customize your guns and you can customize your base of operations which is in this case uh the church so you set out to build various businesses uh build your empire make money complete all the missions uh for your businesses and at the end there's a small package after you have completed or built 14 businesses. Now, as you play the game and you progress, you have tiers uh, that you unlock for each uh, business ve uh, venture that you want to go into. So after playing the game, I got to say that it's really good. It's a good game. It's not perfect, but I enjoyed it. The story is nice, funny conversations, you know, big sense of humor, uh, makes the game enjoyable large map with tons of things to explore the city has its own history you can go around learning uh if you choose to a uh, nice collection of soundtracks i love the soundtrack as a matter of fact um 
I find myself oftentimes just dropping my controller and dancing with my wife sometimes and cranking up the speakers and just dancing while the game is just on. It's it, I love the soundtrack. Um, the soundtrack selection, I love the radio stations, it's really nice. Uh, they did a good job uh, all around in that aspect. Now, let's go to the part where I said in the beginning that it's good, but it's not perfect. Um, in my book, the game got so much bugs. Like the bugs uh, feels like Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. That's what it feels like. I I'm lucky that my game doesn't really have that many bugs, but um, a lot of people have complained that the game is simply buggy to a fault. I have my taste of bugs and glitches, and I got to say that um, it's annoying when um, you're playing a game or you're in the middle of a mission that is pretty tough. And let's say you've, you know, way into the mission and suddenly the game glitches out or the game glitches and you have no choice but to restart um, the entire game. And uh, that sucks. Um, the save feature of the game uh, when you save checkpoints also sucks. Uh, sometimes I find out that when I load the game back again, my money goes back to the way it was before I quit. So I, I, I don't know. The, 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 the auto save feature is also not cool at all. I, I, I don't like it. So most times when I um, cash out on the cash out, because there's a cash out feature in the game uh, where you have to cash out, I think every uh, 24 hours in real time, actually. Um, so sometimes I leave the game running. Um, all day just for the cash to double and then I have to save and actually uh, yeah just to maintain that cash because if I don't save manually um, the game will simply just take me back to the way it was uh, before all that happened so for a next gen game I mean in you know modern times we don't even know when the game saves it, it everything saved every progress is saved uh, continuously but this game doesn't offer that at all so uh, that's not cool the mechanics in Centro 5 if you're not playing on easy mode well forget it the aim is horrible like you find it hard to lock on target you find it hard to aim um, the aim is crazy and I think uh, the aim assist feature is only for easy mode so I play on easy mode just because when I tried playing on medium, I couldn't aim for shit. Like it's just terrible. And you see a lot of YouTubers complain about this as well. Even YouTubers that play the game on YouTube, you'll see that their aim is a little bit, you know, shaky and it's not, you know, on target. Even YouTubers that are really good uh, at playing shooter uh, games. So it's difficult to execute, you know, tough shots uh, when you aim it. Now for the combat. Um, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, the takedown uh, feature in the game is brutal. I love the takedowns, really nice takedowns. Uh, some are funny, some are, are really hilarious, and when you see them, you just laugh. Uh, but uh, overall, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is all right. The only thing is the aim mechanics sucks. And that's it for that. Now, uh, I already see the comment section. People are going to roast me like, why are you playing on easy mode? Well, listen, I don't play games to be challenged. I play games to have fun. So I don't want to have a mental breakdown uh, playing a game or in need of therapy because of some video game. I, I have a lot on my mind to allow that to happen. Uh, for the first time, I am not buying NBA 2K uh, after many years of playing the game. And I feel relieved. So... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put myself in that, uh, you know, I don't put myself in that situation at all. So I try to play the game. I play on easy mode uh, when it's not having to do with online and I just enjoy the game. Now you can play co-op with your friends. I haven't done that yet, but you can play co-op with other bosses and uh, also, you know, take down uh, or build your businesses with other bosses um, as well make money so if you play central five and you want to you know need help or you want to help the bosses or you want to do a collab with other bosses uh the game has a co-op feature where you can have that happen so i'll end this video saying this about central five it's a good game i'll give it about 7.5 out of 10 um if you haven't got it yet 
and thinking about getting it uh man you can go ahead and get the game you will not regret it it's really funny it's really cool it's really nice you will have a field trip just touring the city and uh you know the the whole storyline is it makes sense so besides the bugs uh you won't regret it at, <laughs> you know at all but if you are uh, i don't know if you can't tolerate bugs well i wouldn't say no um you know recommend you get this game and oh before i forget a uh, big shout out to all my new subscribers uh, we hit 170 subscribers recently and i um, want to give a huge shout out to all my new subscribers i want to just say thank you for subscribing to my channel i am honored uh, to have you and uh, don't be a stranger man leave, leave comments you know reach out to me uh we should love down here um so that's pretty much it for um this video and um with that said by the way if you happen to just stop by this channel uh, i'm cypher tech we do tech reviews game reviews uh unboxings you know first impressions and all that good stuff we do uh down here and we have tons of fun so that's it for game reviews i'm happy i can finally bring game reviews it's been a while and with that said uh my people my legions my comrades you know what i'm saying uh all 170 of you guys love you guys so much and I would say stay safe, um, guys. Uh, the world is crazy right now. Things are happening. Always stay frosty. And uh, that's it. Cypher Tech, out. Peace.